Hello, welcome to 21st Century Moses channel. My name is Sammy Ju. I have a question for you. Can I just be baptized? Is there any requirement that I need to have to be baptized? Do you want to know the answer? Then stay tuned. This week's theme is ordinances, and today's verse is from Acts 2.38. Let's go to the first section, exposition. Let's read Acts 2.38. And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Now, I'm, I'm sure you are familiar with this verse because on the day, I mean, uh, week three, we already memorized this verse because we uh, memorized this verse as uh, how you can receive the Holy Spirit, right? But in today, uh, we want to look at this verse in terms of, in the perspective of uh, ordinance, the uh, baptism. Now it says, Peter said to them, the people who are listening to Peter's sermon, the Peter said first, repent, turn away from your sin, and turn to Jesus Christ. And then he continued to said, said, be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. So we can see that he did not single out people, but he says, everyone who is who repents, you need to be baptized as well. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. So the baptism was by the, uh, the immersion in the water, but authentication came from the name of Jesus Christ. You are not baptized by uh, in the name of Peter or uh, John or any other apostles, but only in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. And then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Can you just be baptized? As we can see in the early church movement, people were baptized after they repented of their sins. Baptism is directly related to the repentance. When you repent, you turn away from your sin and turn to Jesus Christ. And when you are baptized, you join with Christ who died and rose again. It means that if you are not repenting of your sins, you cannot be baptized. Baptism is not just for fun. It's not for fun, but you are publicly announcing that you repented of your sins and became a child of God. So please do not take baptism lightly. Also, when you share the gospel, tell people to repent of their sins and be baptized as you see in this verse. The point here in this verse is to call people to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Disciples were obeying what Jesus commanded them to do. Likewise, we are to do the same. We need to baptize people when they repent and come to Jesus Christ. By the way, if you are baptized, how was your baptism experience like? Please share your story in the comment section below. Remember the keywords here. Repent, baptized, name. So the main idea is repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Now read this verse three times out loud. And then close your eyes and recite this verse word by word. Pause the video, please. Okay, and let's fill in the blanks and check it. And Peter said to them, And be every one of you in the of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The answers are repent, baptized, name, and today's verse is Acts 2.38. All right, great job. Make sure to put your own emoji on 365 Empowerment Checklist on the description section below. Tomorrow, we'll learn about how the early church did the communion. So click the like button, hit subscribe, and click on the notification bell so you won't miss it. Also, watch the day 10 video of 70 Days Journey to the Bible. And please make sure to pray for one hour after you read 17 chapters assigned. All right, that's it for today and looking forward to seeing you tomorrow.